स्टूडेंट ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन हाउ आर यू फाइन चैप्टर वन ऑलरेडी फिनिश्ड एज आई हैव इन्फॉर्म थ्रू द व्हाट्सएप चैप्टर टू ऑफ फिजिक्स फोर्स एंड लॉज ऑफ मोशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फोर्स टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्सेज एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द फोर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्सेज इनर्शिया मास लॉज ऑफ मोशन गिवन बाई द आइजक न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन इट्स अ मैथमेटिकल एनालिसिस थर्ड लॉ and and uh, after that uh, it's a uh, basic explanation and then conservation of linear momentum today uh, we are going to discuss about the force what is the meaning of the force force is an uh, is the external agency or physical agency which changes or tends to change what number 1 the state of the object number 2 the uniform motion of the object number 3 Direction of the moving object. Number four, shape and size of the object. Okay. Now the different demonstration. I will show it. The first effect of the force. Here, just to see, object Q is at rest. I am going to apply the force or the external agency which changes its state from rest to motion. It start moving. Okay. Right. Just see. The cyclist is moving with the uniform speed, but after the pushing by a particular person, then it speed up. Now, just to see if the person is applying the force in the reverse reverse direction, it slow down. A third effect: if the ball is going towards the wicket, if the batsman is applying the force, then what happens? batsman is applying the force and the ball deflected the direction has been changed of the ball if the force is applied take now the fourth effect of the force is that if we are going to apply the force shape and size is going to change like this ball if i am going to apply the force what happens just to see its a shape changes and here this spring is there uh, rubber is there if i am going to apply the force at the length increases that due to the external agency that is the force okay Take now uh, we have discussed about the force uh, which is the external agency may or may not or tends to change the state of the object which i have shown by showing the cube number 2 the change the uniform motion of the of the body with the help of cycle moving of the cycle and the change of the of the uh, direction of the moving of ob moving object like the ball and bat and the shape and size of the object which i have shown by the ball tennis ball and rubber band okay now comes to the point that this force how many types of types are there force are of different types number 1 contact force number 2 non contact force from the name it's very clear contact force the force which acts due to the contact and the non contact which is no question of the any any kind of contact so contact force like we can say the friction force friction is a is an example of the contact force non contact force force of gravitation or electrostatic force these are the and so on so on these are the examples and different type of forces which which i think it is uh, not up to your standard we are going to discuss in the next uh, uh, de uh, detail in the different different chapters like the uh, you are having the chapter of the gravitation and in the class 12 we are going to discuss the, of the electrostatic force however basically uh, gravitation force is being act between the two objects here m1 m2 
two uh, two masses are there they separated by this the so force is your capital g m1 m2 by r square then electrostatic force is the positive charge is there uh, another positive charge here the r distance is there so say the positive positive force of repulsion that is say the q1 charge is there here q2 charge is there F is equal to K Q1 Q2 by R square and so on. We are going to discuss later on. So in the in the next class we are going to discuss the balance force and unbalanced force. These two are the very important. In the next class we are going to discuss. Okay, thank you.